for a while. I've lost a potty lamb a few days ago, so I was pretty upset about that. And then the lamb that I'd had sick, I, I ended up having to put him down where his skin was black with infection. It just, the skin just ended up peeling off him and yeah, there was, he was just gonna basically need like massive skin grafts. So I, I, I just had no choice with the poor little fella and he so badly wanted to live. So I was, yeah, so I've been a bit down about it all again. So, so that's three potty lambs I've lost and then yeah, with the, the couple of, couple of crook ones and touch wood I haven't had any more sheep losses with worms or that but now let's go muster these girls so they come down and I'll get a go at it hopefully just check so this is um one of their feed troughs been some old heavy guard rail that we actually got I think it was from the old NSA tip just got a bit of a bow in it and it's fantastic because it's so heavy the sheep don't knock it over and I can feed them both sides and and then I just bang them down I'm not sure what they're off but they're not yeah they're pretty clean just they don't waste near as much if I can put them into troughs because the bigger mob the bigger the mob the sheep well yeah it's a bit harder having enough room for all troughs to feed a, a big line actually finished giving the lambs in here their second five in one and a drench and foot pad all the ewes, foot pad the lambs. So I've got all them done that poor old ewe, there's a bit sore. And I've got to just move a bit of this silage back to the side so the ewes can get to it. I've had a ewe that's been getting her head stuck in here. So and I used to get sheep with their head stuck down in here, so my husband's put a patch there. And then the other day on another hay feed, I had a lamb get its head stuck in that one. I'm hoping I'm tilting the camera right. So my husband's actually patched, or he's put a piece to cover there on the other one. So I constantly, yeah, have to just keep an eye on my feeders that I don't have sheep or lambs with their head stuck. But I mean, you just shouldn't get sheep with their head stuck in that. But the silly things, they put their head in and then sometimes they just think, oh no, we can't get our head out. And they don't go, they won't come backwards. But this mesh my husband's welded on, that has been fantastic because that has stopped my lambs from jumping up and ruining all the silage. So that's been a plus. And then I've been tying the rope around the top part of it to stop it from spreading or them spreading it so much, which has made a difference because I think I've had this bale in here for well this one would have been in here for a, about a week now I think or it might be a bit over so I'm sort of trying to I'm happy if I can get about a week to a bale but I have only got 50 merino ewes in here so and the bales are pushing 700 kilo they have picked up in condition a lot apart from the the ones that are still lame but I noticed even when I foot paired them they are definitely a lot more stronger and healthier and they all generally come running for their maize so it'll only be another oh, five weeks and I'll actually be weaning the lambs off these ewes off the merinos just to give them a, a well a chance to get back up in condition ready for joining at the end of October so it sort of gives them a couple of months break the crossies well their lambs get sold straight off them so they're sold as sucker lambs unless there's anything that's really hasn't done so well and I, I just sit on them until early next year and I have to admit, I do get upset when I sell my lambs because I put so much effort into them. But unfortunately, I just can't, I, I can't keep them all, of course. And they, the money I get for them basically <laughs> helps pay for feed to keep the ewes going. Hello. This is a lamb I actually 
was supplement feeding earlier on when the ewe was really struggling so he's coming down thinking oh maybe i might have a bottle for you no you're not gonna talk to me well you got a bit of feed there this girl here she was really battling with the worms and her fleece is all starting to fall out because it's got a break so it'll be rotten tender but even though the, the wool itself is still nice so it'll be nice when she's shorn so i haven't got fleece wool dropped all around the paddock if it becomes too severe i'll just get her down and i'll either i'll either shear or i'll get my husband to shear if it looks like she's going to have her wool start falling off everywhere but she's has been doing a good job of her lambs and she's still a little bit leaner than i'd like her to be but she is a lighter frame you too so but yeah we'll go muster these ones now and that's my prolapse you just there the crossy one with her great big lamb and i truly didn't know if i was going to save her well she's still going so that's a plus that poor you just there at the back she's She's really battling with her feet at the moment. She's a lot lighter than I'd like her to be. I do have to um, try and yeah, get my husband to make a shelter in here. I just want to have shelters in every paddock for the sheep. Stan, come here. At least the shelters, they're sort of a quick, quick fix until I get time to actually knuckle down and start planting some more trees i've planted a few but nowhere near enough and this tree well unfortunately he's getting a bit of dead wood in him but it, it really is a beautiful tree just a long sprawly tree heaps of shelter cover him sometimes but oh he is me little mate go back he just conveniently just leaves some behind and I can't understand his logic because I keep making him go back to get them so by the time he does all the extra work and just if he brought the whole lot right from the word go but he does have the most beautiful nature he just thinks everybody loves him hi girls come on you should follow me down now here yeah come on come on good girls come beautiful rani that you barring is a very noisy girl and she's i don't know where she's one i've pottied or certainly done a lot of work with because she's very quiet come on come on you can have your silage after your maze Noisy old girl. Come on, Stan, go back. Go back. Come on. Not sure where Stan is at the moment. Come on. Push up, Stan. Push up. How are you, girls? brought them down <laughs> hello girls <sighs> sorry use a bale fast and just to close the bags to stop me from spilling the maze oh you're doing it tough you poor little thing now get out of me road please The amount of times I have fed sheep and they've knocked me over and the merinos aren't normally quite as bad as the crossies 